would be done to your honor and to your glory. Heavenly Father, we pray that this evening's presentation would be a blessing to every listener, to every viewer. Dear God, may this evening's presentation and the gospel in general, may it take a firm hold upon the life of every person present, every person a part of the extended audience. And as your name is glorified, O oh Father, we know that blessings will follow. So we give you full control of everything that pertains to us. Dear God, we give you total control as we would bless your name, celebrating yet another year of gospel fest activities. We thank you, O oh God, for this wonderful opportunity. We thank you for this privilege that we have to bless your name. And so from this point onward, O oh God, we yield everything over unto you. We pray that lives would be changed. We pray, O oh God, that hearts would be transformed as the gospel reaches everyone. We bless your name and we give you glory, the glory that belongs only to you. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And we ask you to remain as you are, as we have the national anthem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to be done by Sister Francesca Linley. The national anthem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Vincent, and so beautiful, with joyful hearts we pledge to thee, our loyalty and love and vow to keep you ever free. The National Anthem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is beautifully rendered by Sister Francesca Linley. Once again, we want to welcome you to the Russell's Auditorium.
Please welcome your host for the evening, Brother Garfield Joseph from the Career Streams of Power. Good evening, brethren. It's good to have you. We are happy to be in God's presence, giving him praise, giving him thanks for his goodness and his mercy towards us. Amen. It's a good thing to be together. The word of God tells us that in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand there are pleasures forever more. Hallelujah. Right at this time, I'm going to encourage you to just sit back and enjoy the items to be rendered. And I'll be calling on Pastor Errol Daniel at this time, our district overseer, to give introductory remarks. Welcome, Pastor D, at this moment. I wish to thank you, and I want to say a pleasant evening to everybody who has come here today to celebrate the goodness of God and... Um, the first thing I want to say is to remind you that God is a good God. Can I have a better amen for the Lord? Amen. God is a good God. He has not only saved us, but he's been keeping us. We're kept by the power of God. I like to say that the streams of power, uh, branches that are here this evening, uh, representing Zion Hill, Career, Sansosi, and I apologize for Bekwe. They could not make it here today, but their heart is with us. And um, they've been invited to view what you will present today. I am asked to say a little about the Streams of Power denomination. The Streams of Power denomination in St. Vincent got started in 1965 when there were missionaries from Holland male and female, they came to St. Vincent, and they started to share the gospel at the Victoria Park right here in Kingston. As a result, lots of people got saved. They called it then a movement. They did not intend to erect churches, just a movement. But I am told that there were certain ones who said, you, you, you all cannot leave us without a place to go and worship because um, going back to the places where we used to worship, they would not receive us. And I know how that runs. Eh? So the first uh, church was built up in um, Zion Hill. But before that, there were other places to worship. But the permanent structure owned by Streams of Power was erected at Zion Hill. And uh, Brother Hank Hoosman and his wife, Rena, they pastored that church for nine years after... Then they left to go back to Holland. We are still in touch because we believe that there's no building can really stand without a proper foundation. I want to say that they have done a good job while they were here. If you want to applaud them, go ahead. They might be listening at this time. Sister D and I were installed in 1974 to carry on that work. And this is the year. 2022, little arithmetic will tell you how long we've been there, given um, pastoral care. But we just did not stay at Zion Hill. We moved out to Career and we erected a, a church building there. We erected one also at um, San Susi. There's another we erected, the last one, down in Beckway, and one is still under construction. That is at Ratho Mill. Apart from the buildings, I want to focus on the streams of power people building lives. Because we can build buildings and the buildings will not make it to eternity. But lives, people who are saved, whose lives are touched by the power of God, they will make it into eternity. So... Just briefly, I want to say these things to you, and we're not stop working on people, neither on buildings. I would like to implore us to work together, for when we work together, we can accomplish more. There's a text that about five years ago came into my spirit that tells us that we should be workers together with him, not working against each other, not even competing against each other. 
but we complement each other as we work the works of Almighty God. So may this evening's presentation from the different um, branches uplift all of us. So when we leave here, we'll be able to say we've experienced the presence of the living God. Thanks to the Courage Church for coming. Thanks for San Susi. Thanks for Sign Hill. Thanks for Sister D, who is in the audience also. God bless you abundantly. I'll be back sometime, I understand, to bring a short word. God bless you. Come on, I think we can do better than that. Put your hands together for Pastor Daniel Aaron. Thank you very much, Pastor D, for giving us stream the power church in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. He mentioned 1965. Mommy and Daddy must was just thinking about me. He ain't came on the scene as yet. But to God be the glory. Amen. At this time, we are going to stand and we're going to invite the worship team to come and we're going to celebrate and lift up the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at this moment. Our worship team is coming so that we can worship and lift up the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this evening. We are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are all a witness to the testimony of God's saving grace, his mercy. Amen. And we have come here to lift up a praise to him. That our praises will rise only to him. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto himself. Amen. And he said, where two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. So God is already here. Hallelujah, Father, we worship you. We lift our praise to you, Lord. Oh, we worship you. We magnify your name. Oh, let's praise it. On the inside, on the inside, may you delight. On the inside, on the inside, on me. come fill my life, fill my life, oh Lord, from the from the inside oh set us on fire me on fire from the inside from the inside of me cause all I want is for you for you to be glorified to be lifted high all I want is for you for you to be glorified you to be lifted high let praises rise oh Lord from the our praise let it rise from the inside Come fill my Oh Lord From the inside From the inside May you delight May you delight Oh delight Lord From the inside Lord From the in Set us on fire Your fire from the inside, Lord, from the inside of me, all I want, all I want, God is for you, for you 
to be glorified and you to be lifted high, God, in this place. All over these grounds, Lord. All I want, Lord. All I want. I did not come to spectate, but to lift up the name of Jesus.
lifted. Oh, oh be lifted above another God. For we lay our crowns and worship. We lay our crowns. We lay our crowns and worship. our cross to follow you lay our crown and worship we lay our crown Lord.
we bless your name. We bless your name. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, we praise the name of Jesus. We're going to lift up a praise to him. For God has been our rock. He's been our fortress, our refuge, and our strength in him. In him we will trust. Oh, we praise your name. Praise the name.
the Lord of Lords. I have come to save and to So take it all.
Hallelujah. Every praise. Every word of worship. Every praise. Every praise. Give God some praise this evening. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to give God thanks. We want to give him praise for his goodness and his mercy towards us. Amen. It's a good thing being alive and being in our right minds. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, worship team. Thank you very much. At this time, we are going to hear again from Pastor Errol Daniel, our overseer, as he brings to us the word of the Lord this evening. So please open your hearts and receive Pastor Daniel and the word of God at this moment. God be glorified. Amen. Thank you for that pulpit, my brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. How can a preacher make it without a pulpit? And in auditoriums like this one. Gospel Fest. Gospel Fest 2022. As believers... We are privileged by God to discharge the message. He did not tell us the methods to use to get the gospel out, but he said without a shadow of doubt that this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all the world. I'll be using the word gospel and fest so that what you are involved in this evening, you would not forget that this is a gospel fest. Say it with me, gospel fest. So I would from the scripture read to you a portion or two of what is said concerning the gospel. But before I do, I also would like to read something from the Redemption Songbook. Some of you might have heard these um, words before and others not. But let us listen. The writer says, the gospel bells are ringing. Over land, from sea to sea. Blessed news of full salvation do they offer you and me. The refrain of the chorus says, gospel bells, how they ring, bringing news to you and me. I like to say that the organizers of this gospel fest. They are in the will of God. What will St. Vincent do without the proclamation of the gospel? What will the world do without the proclamation of the gospel? And I'm talking mainly now to Christians. So just don't sit down. Sit down and think. Jesus Christ knew that this message... To be delivered to the whole world was so important that more than once he said to his disciples, like in Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, Go ye into all the world. Where? Where? We have an assignment. Brother Peters told us earlier on that what we're doing here is not just a St. Vincent thing, but this is going all over the world. What a privilege. What a privilege to send the gospel all over the world. Again, what Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach. And I want to remind us that he did not say to preach religion. He made it abundantly clear. Go 
into all the world and preach the gospel. He did not say to preach it to some people, but he said to preach it to everyone. Why? Because it is the will of God for everyone to be saved. My minutes will be expired just now, but I want it to get down into your spirit. This is an opportunity to get out from the church walls at Zion Hill. Sign Hill people say amen. amen. This is an opportunity to get outside of the church walls at Kare. Will Kare people say amen? amen? This is an opportunity to get out of the walls at Sanso Sea. Can Sanso Sea people say amen? amen? You know, we can stay within the walls of the buildings and nice up ourselves, but hear what the Commander-in-chief said, and not a politician, he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He has given the assurance, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Gospel fest. The apostle Paul in Romans 1.16, testifies. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. These are not the days for Christians to be ashamed and sit in their corners. This is the time to get out into the highways and the byways and do some of the things that you've never done before. I know we have some limits, but this gospel must be preached in all the world. And who should preach it? Every child of God is responsible to preach it. Back to my song, the gospel bells are ringing. They're, these bells invite one and all. To God's offer of free salvation. Do you know that a lot of things are very expensive these days? When last did you go to the supermarket or even outside of the market in Kingston? Any market, any vendor who is selling. And as things go up in the supermarkets, um, things go up on the streets also. Vegetables and whatever. We must take the gospel to people everywhere. Because the scripture tells us that this gospel is good news and this should be my final point the gospel is good news good news about a person there are three prepositions one Christ died for our sins Say to somebody, Christ died for our sins. Say it loud and clear. Put some more muscle in your voice because you are masked up. You are muscled up. And that is what Satan would like to do. To muzzle us up for the rest of our lives. All you have to do is to put some more muscle in your voice. And let people know that Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, died for our sins and I am quoting from 1st Corinthians chapter 15 commencing at verse 1 where the apostle Paul said I have delivered unto you that which I have received how that Christ died he did not die because he was a crook he died for your sins for my sins and the sins of the world. The people in this world need to know that. Some of them are brushing it aside. But Christ died for us. Lord have mercy. Those of you who are elsewhere. Say praise the Lord. Christ died. For us. Secondly. He was buried. They did not bury a living man. They buried 
a man who gave up the ghost, who died, and Satan thought he would have been able to keep him in the grave. But this gospel of good news tells us that he who died and was buried on the third day, this is the gospel, on the third day, he rose from the dead. And this is the season when we sing one of the songs that goes something like this, up from the grave, up, up from the grave. Say it with me, up from the grave, he arose. With a mighty triumph o'er his foes. Say it with me. He arose. This is a gospel. He arose a victor from the vast domain. And he lives forever with you, with me, with us, and people all over the world who are redeemed. They're called his saints. We're not preaching denomination. We're preaching the gospel. Christ died, he was buried, and he rose from the dead. This is the gospel. I want to get it over again. It's not denomination. It is, it is preaching Christ to the dying world. And every born-again believer has the responsibility to use any method, but do not change the message. So those of you who would recite this evening, those of you who would dramatize, whatever method you may use, remember that to make sure that the gospel is in your presentation. The gospel is not about you or about me. The gospel is about Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. The good news, he who died and was buried, rose from the dead, ascended to the Father, and shortly we're going to see him for his coming. Coming again. King of kings and Lord of lords. And he shall reign forever and ever. Gospel fest. Fest means that we assemble together for the same Purpose, same focus all of us should have. Again, I'm saying you have liberty to use whatever method, but you do not have any liberty to change the message. If you try to change the message, it will not be the gospel that Christ said to preach. It will be your message, and your message cannot save anybody. It's the message of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. Father thank you for those who presented before. And those who will come after me. I pray that what they will present today. Will be a true representation. Of the gospel message. For that is the message you want us to bring to the people. Thank you again for Brother Michael with his helpers. Although lots of things are dying, he will not allow this thing to die. But with his helpers, they're keeping it alive. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The gospel. Thank you very much, Pastor D, for that word. And indeed, the gospel is very important. And we are the ones who have to take the gospel to those out there. Because if we don't, then the question is, who's going to do it? Amen. Let's appreciate Pastor Daniel there again. <laughs> Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'll have our first item in terms of song. And we'll have a solo presentation at this time, done by none other than Charisma Lee. Mercy says no. Welcome, Charisma, at this time, ladies and gentlemen. Can 
night, everyone. I would present in my song, Marcy Said More, and I hope you guys would enjoy. Just a child when I felt the Savior leading. I was drawn to what I could not understand. And for the cause of Christ, I have spent my days believing that what He had me be is who I am. As I've come to see the weaker side of me, I realize His grace is what I need. When sin demanded justice for my soul, mercy said no. I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you slip away. You don't have to be afraid. Mercy said no. Sin will never take control. Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tried to steal my heart away. But thank you, Jesus. Mercy said no. For God to love the world, that he sent his son to save us. From the cross he built a bridge to set us free. Oh, but deep within our hearts, there is still a war that rages. And makes a sacrifice so hard to see. As midnight fell on crucifixion day, the light of hope seemed all oh so far away. As evil tried to stop redemption's flow, mercy said no. to be afraid. Mercy said no. Sin will never take control. Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tried to steal my heart away. But thank you, Jesus. Mercy said no. And now when heaven looks at me, it's true the blood of Jesus reminding me of one day long ago. Jesus, mercy said no.
says no. Sin would never take control. Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tried to steal your heart and mine away. But thanks be unto Almighty God. His mercy is everlasting. And to him we give all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Hallelujah to the glory and honor of Almighty God. To God we give all praise. What a wonderful God. And our sister Charisma, is, she is from the Sinai Streams of Power Assembly. And also coming from Streams of Power Sinai Assembly to do a saxophone solo presentation. Brother Addison Lewis. Put your hands together at this time for Brother Addison. Amen. Thank you. Lewis there from the streams of power Sand Hill Assembly doing for us I give myself away and when we give ourselves away to Almighty God we are doing the very best thing amen and this is 
the presentation of Gospel Fest 2022 coming to you from the Russell's Auditorium, being presented by the Streams of Power Assemblies here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. To God we give all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And at this time, we'll be having a solo presentation from the Streams of Power Assembly at San Susi, done by none other than Sister Tricia Andrews, doing a special song at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our sister at this time. And we give God praise, we give God glory and honor. Amen. The song is entitled, It Wasn't Easy. Pleasant good evening to my brothers and sisters watching us here and to those online. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies. You are so good. I thank you, Lord, for your grace, oh God. Hallelujah. Don't think for a moment I never felt the pain. Come 
my brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together again for our sister, all the way from San Susi Assembly, Sister Tricia Andrews doing for us. It wasn't easy, but it was worth every moment of it. Amen. It was worth it. It was worth it. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. At this time, we are going to head on over to Sand Hill Assembly. And they are going to do a song for us entitled, I Know a Man Who Can. The Ladies' Ministry from the Streams of Power, Sand Hill Assembly, doing for us, I Know a Man Who Can.
broken. And what's that man's name? His name is? His name is? Do you know that man? That man is our savior and our redeemer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pause at this time for a word from our sponsors. Very much thank you very much at this time coming again all the way from the Sandhill streams of power assembly i will invite the dance group to come they are going to do a dance presentation walk cry after which we'll have sans in sister gwenny richards doing a song so please welcome the dancers from the Sandhill streams of power assembly doing walk cry Preaching these church folks to leave in Cause they're so confused about these wrongfully teaching Making a bad name for all of us Christians So many saints are holding unforgiveness We got nation against nation